Well, it's uh, July 3rd, Tuesday. Heading out from the Bill shelter. It's uh, basically it's a shelter that converted from a shed from the guy's backyard. Bit tenting and that down across the way, across the highway, and uh, this here is the uh, privy as well as the shower, which is actually pretty nice. Uh, got a flush toilet, which is a rarity, as well as supposedly a uh, hot shower, but you know, this kind of solar system just doesn't work much. So anyway, I'm heading out now, and uh, it's about two tenths of a mile up the uh, pavement to the trail. I walked past it on my way down here. I didn't realize it was supposed to turn on the road. Anyway, as far as the shelter itself goes, uh, it's pretty sketchy. It's He doesn't really take real good care of the inside of it. There's actually plants growing up through the walls where the cracks are next to the floor and stuff. It, uh, he did put some uh, carpet of some sort with some padding down on the uh, beds, which made that nice. Since he did that, I went ahead and slept in the shelter. There's a hammock area. Basically, it was buried and hidden amongst the trees. And I just didn't feel like going down that far away from things. If I was going to do that, I'd just stuff camp. So anyway, I uh, had a terrible night's sleep. My The bed being so hard made it hard to, for my ribs. I couldn't breathe good kept pressure against him, even laying on my back. Just the way things are, you know. Uh, going for a long day, 24 miles today. It'll be the third shelter on the road. The reason I'm doing that is because I want to make some decent time for one, but the, uh, Weather's gonna start turning bad. They're predicting rain tomorrow. So, that'll change the terrain again. It's been nice having it dry. Rocks have been easy. But once it rains, it's gonna be slick. So, anyway. about ready to cross the road and hit the trail. I've been on the trail about an hour and a half heading straight up this mountain. Hasn't been too bad. Hit some bouldering on the top, which is where I'm at now. And uh, this is what they call ooh, Dan's Pulpit. Made in the USA. That's rather interesting. Anyway, I'm, uh, oh. whoa, up here st stumbling around on the boulders. It's been a pretty good haul up here. So what do we find inside the mailbox, huh? Yeah, look at that. We got a log book. So with that, we move on. Sign the register. Don't know why. Just decided to. It's one of the few I've actually signed. So now we are back into the boulder scene again. 
see how much I can do to this with uh, with the camera going. This is always interesting because it's very difficult to pick out where I'm supposed to go. I got one marker and that's it. The AT really fails miserably for marking the trail when it comes to these boulders. They just kind of leave it up to, you're supposed to guess and figure out where the best route is. But since the blazes on the trees are so spaced out, and of course if you get on the wrong edge of the tree, you're not going to see it. And then You're basically shooting blind, like I am right now. So all I can do is hope I'm following what should be a trail. And uh, sometimes they like to surprise you and put them around corners that you don't realize. So you got to really pay attention. And there's one. So I picked the right route. And all I have to do is pick the route to get down to it. I don't mind these boulders. In fact, I really prefer them above some other type of rock I have to hike on all the time. And that's simply because these generally, not always, but generally, will stay in place. Whereas the other ones move every time you step on them. So it throws you out of balance. And of course with the extra pack weight, and I can't really secure mine down the way I would like anymore because it doesn't fit properly anymore and it pulls the heck out of my shoulders and my hips it flops around back there with 30 pounds in it which throws my balance off on the rocks So, looks like this is what we're going to play with for a while. It's just called, be very careful. Some of these rocks too, they have a greenish color to them and it's kind of a mold-like moss maybe. And... Some are very slick, even though they basically aren't wet. So that doesn't help either. You take a step and think you're going to stay there and your foot slides right out from under you. That's where these can get dangerous. Which is another good reason why you're better off hiking with somebody rather than traveling alone. But in my case, wouldn't know what to do with a partner. Okay, so back into the trees. Better chance of following the trail now. See, you got the trail. You can actually see this trail. And it's not a bad trail. This is actually pretty good. There are boulders and rocks throughout it, but compared to a lot of other states, this ain't bad. Uh, here's another one of my friends slowly crawling off the trail for me. Oh, 
All I'm seeing is pure black, so I'm going to make an assumption that we are just got another black snake. No big deal. Thanks, guy. Okay, now we're up here on the knife edge. We got right on the ridge. As you can see, uh, drops down over that way. And of course, we got, oh boy, not a real bad drop, boulders, but definitely gonna hurt. Going up that way, there's the white uh, blaze. We're going right up over top. But uh, while I'm here at this little platform, there's the view of the valley that I get while I'm here. Another shot of what I just came across as we go. And that's where I'm headed. You can make out the white blazes here and there. You see one up there a ways. Not sure how far this goes. And this is the other end of things. You can see the white blaze coming down. And then of course you just pick your way down. Whatever works for you. And you can see the white blaze up there. So basically I'm just going to be heading down this direction. This is the easy part when it comes right down to it. There's no exposure. You can still fall. If you slip on these rocks, it's going to hurt like a son of a. Which is why you got to really be careful. And you don't want to do this in the rain. I'm glad I got this before the rains hit today or tomorrow. Even at that, some of the rocks are precarious. You're still not sure. Some of these big boulders can actually move when you step on them. And that will literally scare the living daylights out of you. But that's part of the deal too. That's to the excitement of things. So I heard a lot of talk about this knife edge. I don't know if I'd call it a knife edge, but you're definitely right on the ridge of things, some serious bouldering. So you need to be comfortable with a little bit of exposure and not to mention your comfort level on friction with your rocks and your shoes. Glad I got new shoes now. Got really good soles.